Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for taking time today, despite the poor weather, to attend a financial results meeting. I'd like to start by explaining the outline. First, I will explain the business results. The table shows from your left actual results for the first half FY 2017, actual results for the first half 2018, change versus the previous year, and 2018 full year forecast. Actual results for the first half 2018 was 851.3 billion yen in net sales, up 3% year on year, 82.2 billion in operating income unchanged year on year, 9.7% in operating margin, down 0.3 points year on year, 79.3 billion yen in ordinary income, down 5% year on year, and 57 billion yen in net income attributable to owners of parent, down 6% year on year. For forex assumptions, the yen rate, 109 yen to the dollar, 132 yen to the euro. Indonesian rupiah, 13,758 to the dollar, and the Brazilian real, 3.4 to the dollar. Summing up, we had a positive growth in net sales and a flat growth in operating income year on year. These results are generally in line with the expectations, despite some gaps in individual businesses, and so we will keep the full year forecast unchanged. Now I will take you through the factors impacting operating income and net income on the next slide. The slide shows factors impacting operating income for the first half of fiscal year 2018. Compared with 82.2 billion operating income for first half 2017, there were positive factors, namely effects of sales increase 4.5 billion, profitability improvement 4.3 billion, while there are negative factors, namely exchange effects 1.5 billion, raw material price fluctuations 2.2 billion, development cost increases including growth strategy expenses 2.7 billion, and increase in SGNA. In expenses 2.3 billion, totaling 82.2 billion yen in operating income for the first half 2018, which was slightly up or mostly flat from the previous year. On the other hand, net income attributable to owners of parent declined from 60.8 billion yen to 57 billion yen for the first half 2018. We believe that the decline is attributable to a temporary factor of FX rates, and therefore, as mentioned on the previous page, we kept the full year forecast unchanged. Next, allow me to discuss shareholder return. During the current medium term period, our benchmark is 30% pair ratio of net income attributable to owners of parent. For the full year, since we kept the forecast unchanged, we will distribute 90 yen per share for the full year or 45 yen per share for the interim period, representing an increase in dividends for six consecutive years. This concludes my explanation of the outline. Next is details per business segment. I will explain the breakdown by business for the first half 2018. The three bars on the left show net sales trends for the first half for the last three years, and the three bars on the right show operating income trends for the same time frame. For the motorcycle business, in developed markets, net sales down to 131.7 billion yen, operating income down to negative 3.9 billion yen, while in emerging markets, net sales up to 383.7 billion yen and operating income up to 35.2 billion yen. For the marine business, net sales up to 188.7 billion yen and operating income up to 38.2 billion yen. For the power products business, net sales up to 71.3 billion yen, operating income up to 1.1 billion yen. 
For the other business, net sales up to 75.9 billion and operating income up to 11.7 billion yen. Thus, except for the developed market motorcycle business, which suffered a decline in both sales and profit, all businesses showed a positive growth in sales and profits. From this point on, let me discuss each business one by one, starting with ASEAN. I will discuss emerging market motorcycle business first. The graph on the left shows net sales and operating margin for four ASEAN countries, Indonesia, Thailand, and the Philippines saw an increase in sales volume, while Vietnam experienced a decline in sales volume. All in all, thanks to the strong sales of the platform model and the export growth of the global model, total net sales increased from 260.9 billion yen to 280.3 billion yen year on year. Operating margin remained at a high level at 8.4%, almost flat from 8.5% last year. The chart on the right shows first half sales status in the four countries. Over the past four years, we saw an increase in the share of the platform model and the global model, which are exported also to developed countries in the total sales in response to the trend of customers demanding high added value models, contributing to a growth in sales and profit. We will continue to enhance the profitability uh, through the platform model. Allow me to introduce platform model, which enables const constantly high profitability in ASEAN. There are three photos on the slide. The one on the left is scooter called Mio, which enjoys strong sales in Indonesia and high popularity in the Philippines. The photo on the right hand side shows NMAX, which exceeds sales plans every year since the launch and boasts an unwavering position in the ASEAN premium scooter market. In the middle is a model we introduced this year, the Lexi. It is a product that fills a price category we had not been able to address previously, a step-through product in the premium segment. Since launch, it has been seeing strong sales. Each of these products adopt our common engine platform, the Blue Core, by further building on these kinds of unique development and production methodologies, we aim to deliver fresh products to our customers. Next, I explain about the developed market motorcycle business. Left-hand side graph shows net sales and operating income ratios by region, with total demand declining mainly in Japan and North America, and with the new product impact of TMAX and others running its course in Europe, Net sales declined from 143.7 billion last year to 131.7 billion this year. Operating income ratio was minus 3%. Right hand chart shows total demand for products 51 cc and over in the four default market regions in our market share. In the first half of 2018, the wearing out of new product impact that I mentioned earlier and the prolonged winter in Europe from which we not fully recover in terms of shipments led to lower market share, and that in turn was the main reason for declining sales and profit. Going forward, we will further promote structural reform and press on to building new business models. The photo you see here is the YZ65, the newest addition to the motocrosser series for the developed markets launched this year. It is on one hand lightweight and compact making it easy for kids riders to handle and on the other, they boast high performance. In the developed markets, there is an established culture of the whole family enjoying off-road motorcycling together. We have strengths in this segment, so we launched this model with the hope that it will create a natural evolution of kids enjoying riding bikes from a young age and stepping up to superior models that they aspire to. It so happens that there are very few brands that have a full lineup of models from kids bikes to competition models for adults. We have just one missing link in achieving a full lineup and that was the 65cc product. Off-road bikes have characteristic colors by company and Yamaha's is blue. I heard one child comment that his younger brother's bike is blue 
Father and mother's bikes are also blue, and only mine is orange. I felt that this cannot stand, and we launched this model to fill the gap in our product lineup. That child has since been very happy. Next, I talk about the marine business. Left hand side shows net sales and operating income ratio by products in the first half. In terms of sales, mainly due to sales increases in water vehicles and sport boats, we saw an increase from 179.7 billion last year to 188.7 billion this year. Operating income ratio was 20.2%, essentially unchanged since last year. This was due mainly to a slightly lower ratio of the outboard motor segment, which has a relatively higher margin. Right-hand side graph shows the number of outboard motors that we sold in the North American and European markets. We have tightness in terms of production capacity for the large outboard motors, and so the sales is flat, and we have seen a drop in unit sales for smaller products. The main market for small motors of less than 100 horsepower is Europe. Europe this year had a very long winter with snow falling as late as April, so the start of the season was very late, and so we could not see a steady pickup of sales. As for expanding our production capacity for the larger outboard motors, we have already started to take measures, and the production increase impact is expected to materialize from the second half. Going forward, we will continue to introduce larger outboard motors and promote our system supplier strategy where we connect various systems to enhance the total value of our offerings. This is a manifestation of our system supplier strategy. Our largest horsepower outboard motor, the F425, it will propel the boat faster and to more distant seas. It was launched this year as a motor to allow users to enjoy fishing and cruising with a peace of mind. An electric steering system providing nimble response was introduced for the first time that combined with the helm master allowing control of the boat by joystick and a 7-inch touchscreen color display CL7 provides high level of convenience. Next I talk about the power products business. As you can see in the graph on the left, Sales led by high growth of all-terrain vehicles and golf cars increased from 67 billion yen last year to 71.3 billion this year. Operating income ratio was also increased from 1.4% to 1.6%. We launched the ROV platform model, the Wolverine X2, this year. You see the photo on the right-hand side. This is a two-seater following up on the four-seater launched last year. Going forward, we will deploy platform-based models like these to improve our business. Next, I explain about the industrial machinery and robot products business. Due to the improvement in the product mix of surface mounters, sales grew substantially and operating income ratio also grew to as high as 25%. This first half orders were strong, however, due to tight supply of some parts, there were situations where we could not produce enough to meet demand. However, due to an increase in the share of higher value added products, we were able to achieve increased sales and profit overall. The right hand side photo is a, the product that uses a surface mounter technology. It is a medical system called the Excel Handler. This year at the SLAS Europe 2018, a global trade show attended by medical professionals, this won the new product award. And going forward, please continue to expect new value-creating initiatives capitalizing on our robotics technology. Lastly, I want to explain about other products. As you see on the left, due to product mix deterioration of electrically power-assisted bicycle, sales declined from 41.3 billion yen last year to 40.6 billion this year. Operating income ratio also fell from 10.3% to 7.1%. As for electrically power-assisted bicycles, we have launched three new models including the YPJ XC by promoting the YPJ series, which are road bike type products in Japan and the US. We intend to make a comeback 
that concludes our explanation. Thank you for your attention.